Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you an original mock for Lester's fried chicken stall. That's right, that is Lester right over there and that is his fried chicken stall. He's a budding entrepreneur who's setting up many of these street stalls all over Lego City. And this is his first one. What makes this build quite unique is the stall is actually designed to look like a chicken. The head is on the roof and the body of the actual store is shaped like a chicken. Lester felt that this would be a great marketing gimmick, give some brand identity to his stall and stand out from the rest in a crowded marketplace. And I think he's right. This is a very unique build but highly functional for what it is, a fried chicken food vendor. Let's have a closer look at the stall before we learn how to build it. The minifig who I named Lester is actually from the Collector Minifig Series 17, the hot dog vendor. And I think he's a perfect fit for Lester's chicken stall as it really looks the part and the colours match. As mentioned, the stall itself is designed to look like a chicken from head to toe. I have a confession to make. I did not set out designing this chicken food stall like a chicken. That would have been pretty impressive if I did. I wanted to design a sandwich shop but I also wanted a food stall that looked different from all the market stalls that I've done. So my starting point was to use two of those windshield parts and place them on the sides as opposed to in the front which is what I would typically do. I next added in the reverse slope pieces so that it would look different from the traditional square bases that I typically build as well. I also added in a roof and went with the red and yellow colours just to experiment to see how it looked like to give it kind of a McDonald's colours. And that's when it struck me, this looks like a chicken. And I thought, I need a chicken stall. My Lego city doesn't have a chicken stall and I think I need one. And that was when Lester's chicken stall was born. I immediately went about designing the head and I was successful in my first attempt. I guess I know my chicken heads. Then I went about designing the rest of the stall. The base has the long tow bar below so that looks like a stall that can be pulled by a truck or a car. The sides of the stall are designed to look like chicken wings. Here's a look at the side of the head. I used the clip part for the beak and originally for the eyes, I used a 1x2 plate but changed them out to round studs to give it that beady eye look. On the back, there are different utensils for Lester to use when he's making the fried chicken and those are the controls for the deep fryer. On the inside, you can see the special sauce and secret seasoning for the fried chicken. There's a counter in front for takeout, condiments and a chicken sign. Here are the parts you need to build this mock. For clarity, I'll be breaking down this tutorial in parts and we'll start off with the base structure of the stall. You will need an XL plate with two wheels. This part is known as a modified plate with a long toe ball, but I've also placed it on a 2x2 plate with a 1x2 plate behind it. You need a 2x6 plate, a 1x4 modified brick with studs on the side, two 1x2 reverse slope pieces, and two 2x2 two two reverse slope pieces. You need two more reverse slope pieces but these are corner pieces. Two 2x3 two plates, a 2x8 plate, two 1x2 two grill parts, two 1x2 two modified bricks with studs on the side, four regular 2x1 two bricks, one jumper plate, a 1x2 plate, a 2x4 tile, two 1x1 one one brackets with clips, and a 1x2 decorated tile that looks like a control panel. To build the base of the stall, place the axle plate under one end of the 2x6 plate. Take the modified plate ball joint assembly and place it on the other end. You will now build up the base counter of the stall using the 1x4 modified brick and the various reverse sloped bricks. Take the 2x8 plate and place it over the front of the base of the stall but have it overhang by one stud. Take the two 2x3 two plates and place them on the back corners of the base also overhanging by one stud. The two 1x2 one grill parts form the grill on the left. Build up the sides of the stall with the two 1x2 one modified bricks as well as with the regular to one as well as with the regular 1x2 yellow bricks. The decorated control panel tile piece goes over the two studs of the 1x4 modified brick on the back. It might be easier to take off the axle plate first. 
The two 1x1 clip pieces go over the holes on the left. To finish off the front counter of the stall, cover it with the 2x4 towel, 1x2 plate and 1x2 jumper. For this next part, you need two 2x1 corner panel parts, a 1x2 plate, 1x2 brick, two 1x1 headlight bricks, a 1x2 towel, two chicken leg pieces with a bar claw element, a knife accessory part, another bar claw element, a cone with round towel to represent seasoning, a round brick and tap piece to represent sauce, a stack of napkins built by two 1x1 studs and a 1x1 towel. Ketchup is represented by a red cone with a stud nozzle piece. A chicken part acts as a decoration piece and you will need two 4x2 windshield parts. You will first build the deep fryer. Take the 1x2 plate and place it on the 1x2 brick. Take the two headlight bricks and place it onto the plate. Secure the headlight bricks with the 1x2 towel. Insert the two chicken parts with the claw pieces into the holes of the headlight bricks. This is one part of your deep fryer. Take the base of the stall that you have built and place the two 1x2 corner panels next to the grill. That forms the deep tray of the deep fryer. Take the first part of the deep fryer that you built and place it next to the deep tray. Place the secret sauce and seasoning in the empty space opposite the deep fryer. You will now complete the accessorizing of the stall by taking the bar clip and knife and placing them into the clips at the back. Place the two windshields on either side of the stall and take the ketchup, napkins and chicken decoration and place them onto the front counter. For the roof, you need a 4x6 plate, two 3x3 corner pieces and four 3x1 roof slope pieces. For the chicken head, you need two black round studs, a 1x2 modified plate with a horizontal clip, two 2x2 plates stacked together, two curved sloped bricks, a jumper plate, and a red flower stud. For the sides, you need two 2x2 curved tile pieces and two 2x2 two two sloped bricks. To build the roof, take the two 3x3 three three corner pieces and place them onto the front of the 3x6 plate. Make sure they overhang by one stud. Place the four 1x3 sloped pieces behind them. To build the chicken head, place the modified plate with a clip onto the front of the stack of 2x2 two two round plates. Place the two round studs onto the modified plate with clip. Take the two curved sloped bricks and place them onto the black studs. Cap the sloped bricks with the jumper plate and place the red flower stud onto the jumper. To complete the fried chicken stall, take the roof and place it onto the top of the windscreens. Place a 2x2 two two sloped brick on the side and cap it with the 2x2 two two curved tile. Do the same for the other side. Place the chicken head onto the roof and there's one more part I forgot to mention. You need an extra 1x2 cheese wedge piece. This goes onto the roof behind the chicken's neck. And there you have Lester's fried chicken stall. What do you think of this mock? I think it's pretty creative and really demonstrates how amazing LEGO is. There are just so many things you can create with LEGO and with a bit of thinking, you can simulate almost anything with different LEGO parts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and whether you think Lester's business will be booming. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications. I really appreciate your support and your subscription lets me know that I'm doing a good job. Thanks for watching and before you go, check out these two videos that you might have missed. Talk to you soon.